Hello YouTube, um, right now I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak your iPhone 4S. I have the iPhone 4S, um, it's right here, let me just switch you, there it is. Anyways, um, how to jailbreak you, your iPhone 4S using Green Poison. Um, first you need to download the application, the Green Poison from the description, I'll have a link to a direct download. Um, and then once you download it, well, you have to find it, of course, which I have it under downloads. So then, it's actually this one, it's called Ab Absinthe, Absinthe, uh, for Windows. I will provide the link for the Mac and all of those on the description. So once you open it, you unzip it, you'll have this. Just go ahead and launch it. Uh, allow it, let me zoom in a little bit. Allow to run as a trusted thingy. Now right here, it's only for uh, your iPhone 4S and your iPad 2, which is yay for me because um, my iPhone 4 got stolen and my iPad 2 got messed up, so I had to go and buy the iPad. The iPad 1 got messed up, so I had to go buy iPad 2. That was a while back, but I wasn't able to jailbreak for a long time. So anyways, once you have that, um, you have to plug in your your device, which I'm going to have to do manually because I have it on my... I have it on my dock, and it won't go through if you have it on your dock. And you have to make sure that you have the 5.01. For some reason, um, the 5.0, oh, all my dogs are going crazy. That's what you get for having female dogs, right? Bitches. Now, anyways, uh, once you plug that in, this should automatically light up. It should recognize it. Just close this out. You just go ahead and click jailbreak. And then... Um, it would begin like automatically as you can see up here in the top of my iPad on uh, my iPhone I'm sorry the little sinking kind of thing um, kind of looks like that recycling bin thing um, it does take a while so I'm gonna try to fast forward this uh, if possible and I don't know if you see this once I get like a lot further down, it starts doing the restore in progress thing. And then, uh, waiting for reboot, it starts rebooting. It is pretty easy on the... Pretty fast. Oh my god, my dogs are crazy. It's pretty fast on my... On the 4S. A lot faster than the iPad 2. The iPad 2 took a total, like, a 20 minutes. No joke. So now let's just wait that out. Let's see your phone will reboot. Um, if you look right here, let me see if I can focus it there. I don't know if you see that apple thing. Well, that basically means that it has gone through. You're going to get this little icon. What you're going to need to do is you're going to need to open that up. And it says, waiting for abs, abs in the to complete. As you can see in your window, everything um, is already filled up. You won't necessarily get a notice saying, okay, yeah, your 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 device is already jailbroken. No. 
you will not. You could just go ahead and close this out. And then um, you're done when it comes to your computer. Now let's wait for the iPhone. One of the big issues I've come around with uh, the iPhone 4S um, with the jailbreaking thing is Siri. Siri sometimes often doesn't work and um, you are going to need to check that and if it doesn't work I suggest you retry the jailbreak. You should have like absolutely no problem with Siri but um, I believe there's a, a fix in Cydia. As you can see that uh, green apple thingy has turned into Cydia. I'm preparing files. I'm just waiting for this to finish so that I could show you Siri. Um, just in case if it doesn't work, I'm going to show you um, how to put it into um, see, um, restore mode and then redo it. Sometimes it takes you up to the first, second try, third. If it's more than three, I suggest you just quit. Unless you want to keep going. Siri, tell me a joke, Siri. I don't really know any good jokes. None, in fact. So Siri seems to be working. And, um... It is an untethered version, so you don't have to worry about having to... reboot tether and anything like that. And that's it. That is your jailbroken iPhone 4S. And um, I am running the firmware 5.0.1. And uh, let me just go to general. About, I don't know if you can see, right there, 5.0.1. And that's it, that's how you don't break your iPhone 4S. Uh, same thing applies to iPad 2, just a little bit longer, I think. And that's it. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Y'all have a good day.